Hi, I'm Youth Services Librarian Leah Wentworth from McCracken County Public Library, and I'm here to share with you a fun coding activity for Computer Science Week. Um, we are doing an hour of code. We want you to do an hour of code, and we have a fun activity where you can code Mario to make it through the game. And this link is on our website at mclib.net, and you should see it in the description of this video. I'm gonna share my screen so you can see how to get started with this. Um, once you have the link to click on, it should look like this. And you might have to click um, got it so that you can accept these. Okay. Let's see. The volume down a little bit. Hopefully that'll work. Okay, so to get started, you have to click the blue button that says start coding. Once you open this link, you code Mario from Hatch Kids. This is an activity for Hour of Code that they created just for uh, people who want to learn some basic coding and learn how video games are coded. Um, so click start coding and there'll be a little tutorial that pops up. Um, you have to click through, you have to read all these things and click through. It says make Mario reach the golden coin by walking the path. Attach the move and turn blocks inside the when click orange rectangle, and then click on the green arrow to run. Next, and it tells me that um, click on next slide button to view the next page of instructions. And let's see. And then um, all the blocks that are available to you are over here on the left. And you drag and drop the blocks in the workspace to make your game. And after adding the blocks, then you click the green button. So that's the little tour. And it wants you to code Mario to walk forward, turn left, and then walk forward towards the coin again. And so I'm going to drag the code blocks needed to do that out and click them into the screen here, into the workspace. So Mario walks forward one, then he turns left, then he walks forward one. I think that should do it. Let's try it out. Yay! And it shows me the code that was created when I dragged those blocks together and clicked them together in the workspace. This JavaScript code was created and you can read the JavaScript code right here on green play button clicked, the player walks forward n meters, player turns left four degrees 90, player walk forward for n meters. So that was the code, that's JavaScript, that's how JavaScript looks. And that punctuation is very important if you're ever in um, getting to actually compose in JavaScript, but you can use these blocks to create JavaScript in this uh, coding game. So now it's getting a little more complicated. We have Mario needing to go forward, left, left, forward again. It says use a repeat block to move Mario and collect the diamonds and coins. So now to get Mario to go around this shape and get to the coin, we need to use the repeat snap that in there it says repeat zero times and mario is going to need to walk forward it looks like maybe this is two steps so i'm going to change this number here in the walk forward box to two steps and then he's going to turn left and i think if he repeats that three times he'll get the coin and hopefully he'll get all the diamonds on the way let's see i'll put a three there in the repeat Box, repeat three times. Let's try it out. Great! So again, it shows me the JavaScript code of what I just created. And I can continue. So as you can see, it's getting a little more complicated. Now, if I want to get all of the diamonds, I'll have to go all the way around and then over to the coin. It says, use your keyboard buttons to move Mario around the path start coding. So 
uh, there is a, there are four blocks here. One says when the up arrow key is pressed and you wanna code what happens when the up arrow is pressed by dragging out this walk forward button, I believe. Is that what you want? You want, is that, does that make sense? The up arrow is forward? Okay. Oh, I gotta reset it to do that other code. So then the down arrow would be walk backwards. That makes sense. And then the left arrow would be to turn left. And the right arrow would be, we'll have to change this. There's a little drop down here to turn right. Let's see how that works for me. So now I go forward, turn left. successfully code Mario to um, respond to the arrow button. So when the up arrow was pressed and walked forward, and you can again see all the JavaScript code that was created when I plugged in those code blocks. So I'm going to continue on to step four, and it's of course getting harder and harder. And this is where I start having trouble playing the video game because I'm not very good at video games. But if you have played Mario before, you should be able to do this. Once you get it coded, it says at this point, you were able to control Mario's motion using your keyboard. So let's see. Oh yeah, all your code that you put in the last section is down below if you scroll down. But now, um, now let's make him jump and play the jump sounds, the jump music whenever the space key is pressed. So when the space key is pressed, you need to drag two blocks out here and snap those in, play the jump sound and have the player jump. So now let's test that out. Let's see. I'm gonna press for the up arrow. Oh, I gotta press the green button first to test it out. So up arrow goes forward and space. Yeah, space and forward. If I just hit space, it's just up and down. You gotta do space and forward. Okay, turn. Let's see if I can do this. Too far. All right. Oh, I missed a diamond. Thank you. 